Hello, my name is Sean Patrick with Own Equipment Company and today we're going to talk a little bit about the Elgin Eagle Mechanical Sweeper. This is a conveyor style sweeper. It's uh, on a conventional chassis. This is the Freightliner M2-106. Uh, you do have the option of a cab over style chassis um, if that is what you prefer. On the side here we've got dual 46 inch side brooms. These are pulling the material into the center. On the side here for dust suppression, you have uh, three um, hoses that are there to spray water and, and keep that dust down. Um, you do have some lighting here at the front. You do have some adjustments here. Um, this has a 10 foot sweep path, but it can be, if you pull the pins, it can go out to a 12 foot sweep path. We have a 4.5 cubic yard hopper. Um, this has a dumping range of 38 inches to 10 feet. So if you're dumping into a dump truck, if you're dumping into a container, any of those things, um, you have different elevations that you can get to uh, to make that happen. On the side here, these panels do come off uh, for cleaning or for maintenance. Um, but you do have the option of here uh, for clean out. Um, to hook up to your hydrant here and then put water into on your conveyor. You pull this thing here, that directs the water and flushes out your conveyor. Um, you do have a button to reverse that conveyor as you are washing out to make sure that you do a thorough cleaning. The paint process that is used is a polyester powder coat. Um, everything is sprayed before assembly, so you will not find any um, overspray on any of your uh, uh, components. One thing to notice is that they do have green lines here that represents water. You have gray lines that run throughout here that represent um, hydraulics. This has a 360 gallon water capacity, and those tanks are here underneath. On the back here, we have a rear broom that is 60 inches wide. We have a conveyor um, with a chevron style belt that helps center load the material that is 53 inches. Um, this has a 74 horsepower Cummins engines that is powering the sweep system. Um, it also has a Cummins engine on the chassis and you do have different options for horsepower on that. This is a 74 horsepower tier four final engine. How this uh, sweeper works is you've got the side brooms that come in on the side and move the material in the center. As the sweeper moves forward, it's like a broom and dustpan. This uh, broom sweeps the material up onto the conveyor. It goes into the hopper and it has about an opening this, this big. So whatever you can get under the truck and sweep up and through that hole in the conveyor, tires, mufflers, etc. I've seen just about everything picked up. Um, this is used a lot by states and counties, um, places where they do need to pick up larger material and convey that into the hopper to get it off the road to make it safe of debris. The other reason is it has the high dump opportunity and it's easier for them to get the dump trucks up to the side and, and dump in safely into that. You do have these hatches at the rear that open up and give you access to the aux engine and to your water pumps that are here. Your water filter is located there. Um, this does have an air purge. This allows you to use chassis um, air to use the, um, excuse me, to use the chassis air to push the water out if you need to keep the uh, machine out during the winter and you don't have the ability to store it inside so that the pumps don't freeze up. Use some more rear lighting here as well. Uh, this comes standard with the rear camera and uh, you have options for lighting. You can pretty much do whatever you want as far as lighting. Another access panel here um, for engine access, your oil drain allows you to open up and get in there a little bit easier for maintenance. On this side over here, 
you have another access for your hydraulic block. Uh, another thing to note is there are different positions for um, the conveyor depending on the type of material. If you're doing leaves, you can raise it up. If you're doing sand, gravel, oil rock, etc., you can lower it. Um, and those pins are just adjusted up here and you have another pin set on the other side. You've got a step here that allows you to get into the uh, debris window here so you can check what your load is and know when it's time to dump. The brooms, as I said, you have a 10 foot sweep path that can be adjusted out to 12. These do tilt and you have that ability to tilt those on the inside. Um, this is a trailing arm design. So uh, one thing that's nice about that is if it gets struck, it will flex and allow you to uh, to keep going, but it will not, it tries to prevent damage from happening if you strike a curb too hard or you catch a curb. This also, um, this style allows to uh, put uh, constant pressure out and down so that you can stay with the contour of the road. So what we've got here is your control panel for the Elgin Eagle. Um, we've got a couple different things. This does have an auxiliary engine, so you've got a key here to uh, turn the engine on. You've got a throttle control here that goes from low to high. Um, you do have a hopper full um, light here. Um, there's a, a gauge inside there that uh, goes off weight and of the material and gives you a signal when your hopper is full. Uh, you have a water level here as well. Um, your engine uh, tachometer here. On this tachometer on the info inside here, you do have the ability to see what your tilt is. Um, you get your hydraulic temperature, um, your voltage, etc. on there, your hours. You can also get the ability to track your broom hours. Um, you've got three different modes here. Um, you've got your sweep mode, you've got your transport mode, and then pulling this switch and pushing it forward, you get into your dump mode. When you go into dump mode, you pull this back, push it forward. Uh, what that does is the um, airbags drop down and sit you on the frame for stability, and that gives you um, a more secure dump. Um, this light that you see here um, just illuminates um, your work area when you're sweeping at night. This uh, machine is, uh, has two options hydraulic side brooms which would be here this one has air operated so as you adjust this it applies air and down pushes down on the broom and gives you your down pressure and those two are controlled here if you had hydraulic you would have those ability here um, the down pressure for the main rear broom is here um, you can adjust that from light to heavy depending on the material depending on the wear of the broom your elevator is engaged here. Um, this allows uh, you to put the elevator down so that it's lowered and the material is easily swept up onto um, and conveys the material into the hopper. Uh, your elevator height is here if you need to make an adjustment um, due to the size of material um, to get up and over it so that the broom can then sweep it up onto it. This is your controls for your um, hopper. Uh, you raise it, you lower it, you roll it back, and you dump. Um, you have speed control for your brooms. Um, you have the ability to slow it down if you have material that's really light, um, and that way you don't flick it all the way across, gravel, etc. Make those adjustments here. One nice thing about the way the Elgins are lined up is that your left broom controls are here and your right broom controls are here. Um, this is your broom on. These are your tilt controls for your left and your right brooms. This has the ability to have reverse broom direction. Um, sometimes in rural areas where there's not a curb line, you can reverse the brooms and sweep the material back out, gravel, etc., into the ditch line. So people like to have that. Um, it gives them a little more control over what they're doing. Um, this is your hopper shift button. It allows you to shift out if you're dumping into a dump truck or a container and get away from uh, the actual unit. Um, you have the ability with the front water uh, option 
to spray water up front. This is your water controls. So you have on or off. And then um, you have the ability to, to control where you put the water, right side broom, left side broom, or main broom. Over here, you have your strobe light, your hopper light, strobe light here, hopper light here, and your work lights. Uh, these work lights would be at your broom, at the rear, um, and at the main broom. Um, you have the ability, if you do not want um, to have the hopper alarm, to turn that off with this machine. And then your strobe, uh, your rear arrow stick controls are, are located right here.